Today I'm going to be watching this video, it's called What Not To Do In Finland. So yeah, if you're from Finland, tell me if you agree with this list of things that you shouldn't do in Finland. Tell me if there's anything else you shouldn't do in Finland that's not on this list as well. Let's have a look. Hey there fellow travellers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we are here in Turku, Finland in front of the Turku Castle, the uh, Turuninen and today what we have for you are the don'ts of visiting Finland because there's some things you should not do when you come here there's a tons of stuff you should do, you know, like eating anything with mushrooms and, and having a good time and going to sauna and things like that but there's some things you don't do when you're here and, and that's what we're going to focus on today and the first don't I have for you for coming to Finland is don't be loud look, the Finns are a quiet people, they're a reserved people it's also very quiet all the time so do remember that when you're going around especially if you've got kids like mine that are really rambunctious and they're enjoying all this outdoor weather and all kinds of tasty candies well certain kind of candies just just know don't be loud when you are here okay <laughs> now anyway the second don't I feel like that's actually good advice for anywhere you should always be polite respectful and not be over the top loud I know that in Finland the Finnish personality is a bit more reserved and a bit more respectful than a lot of other places. But I feel like that's just good advice anywhere you go, just don't be loud. I've been to certain countries in Asia and yeah, places can get a bit crazy, a bit hectic and noisy. So I agree with what this I'll one say definitely. To you is don't insult the Finnish pride. Look, the Finns love their country and one of the things they love the most is the sauna. And one way to insult a Finn is to call it a sauna. No, it's a sauna, okay? So make sure you get sauna right, okay? Don't call it sauna. And when you go to the sauna, our third don't is don't... Yeah, that's it. Actually, I've started saying sauna to anybody I talk to, any of my friends or anything like that. I remember telling one of my friends that some of the things I learned about Finland uh, from these videos, and I mentioned sauna, and I said this is the way it has to be pronounced. So I'm actually doing that in my day-to-day -day life as well. Uh, but yeah, tell me what makes you most proud to be Finnish, What's, what are you most proud of with regards to Finland? Uh, I agree, don't insult Finnish pride, don't insult anybody's what they're proud of with their country. Be modest. Look, you are going to go in the book on modest. that route when you go to the sauna, okay? And there's some rules about it when you go there. One, if you're going to be the, the naked one, is usually it's, it's going to be a male only or female only sauna is when you do that. If you don't want to, it's okay. You can wear your towel and stuff like that. It is pretty normal when you do, they do that, but you know, don't be modest. Don't go with your full bodysuit or your, your swim trunks. It's kind of like a faux pas when you are here, okay? Now, our fourth don't for you is when you come here, don't get too scared by the language. Look, Finnish is impossible, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you, when I came to live here in the 90s when I was a high school student, they told us before, like to all the exchange students, look, everyone will learn the language everywhere they go, except for two places, Japan and Finland. You all are screwed, okay? The language is pretty difficult and you might not be able to make out many of the things here, but that's okay. You don't have to worry about it because, well, Every, not everybody, but a lot of people speak English here very well, so you will be okay with that. But having said that, don't skip out on learning a few Finnish words before you come. Kitos is thank you. Huvapaeva is like good day. Another one, you know, might be helpful is like yes, it's kula. So kitos, oli haiva, haiva paiva, good day. Big beer is iso olut. Oh, that's nice. That's good to know. Goodbye is nakamin. Yes is kila or ju, no is I, but lots of versions, okay. I want mina haluan. Yeah, so there I think it's such a satisfying language to speak, it feels like almost melodic, it's just very comfortable to say, although it might be quite difficult to pronounce some of the words, it is quite enjoyable to actually speak. There are some words that can make things a little bit easier, like mina haluan, I want, mm -hmm. and so that can help because, man, Finnish is tough. They don't have the prepositions. It's like at the end. So like Turku is the city I'm in. But if you're in the city, you say Turusa. If you're if it's Turku's castle, it's Turun. Dude, it, it's so impossibly difficult. My mind is melting from 20 years ago thinking about this. So don't worry too much about it, okay? And you'll be like, why are there so many eyes? It's just the way it is, okay? <laughs> now my next don't for you is don't freak out when the signs change. This is something I've talked about in a few videos, but in Finland, it's actually Finnish and Swedish are both the official languages. So the signs will have both Finnish and English. And sometimes you'll hear one thing going, oh, you're going to Turku, but then you're like, oh, now we're arriving in Obu. You're like, what, Obu? What, what Obu? I thought we were going to Turku. 
Obo Helsingfors is Helsinki. So this is the Swedish way of saying the words Vasa, Vasa, Pori, Bjornberg, Bjornborg. Bjornborg. Was there not a tennis player called Bjornborg? Tampere is Tammerfors. It's the same city, okay? So don't freak out when that does happen. Also, kind of going along with that, with the Swedes and the Scandinavian stuff and things like that, if you meet like, you know, Swedes and Norwegian and say you're going to Finland to see more of Scandinavia, don't call Finland Scandinavia to like Swedes and Norwegians because they get all, well, that's not on the Scandinavian peninsula. So they're not Scandinavian, they're Nordic. I didn't realize that the other countries would be so defensive of not including Finland in Scandinavia. I know that from what I've learned that Finnish people don't like to be called being part of Scandinavia, but I didn't realize that other countries would also be defensive of that. Okay, so just, just a heads up for that one. We were talking to non fins about it, okay? Another thing you don't do when you're here is you don't compare Sweden and Finland in a way that makes Sweden seem like the winner. And there's two reasons why I really want to focus on here, why you don't do that. And they both start with H. One is history. Finland was controlled by Sweden for a long time. You still have a lot of influence here, but also hockey. And they love their hockey here. So don't say Swedish hockey is better than Finnish because it's not. Duh. And if you're here in Turku, go to a tipsy game. I used to go to those all the time when I lived here. Always good hockey when you are here. But yeah, don't compare it to Sweden because no one's going to enjoy that. Okay, I, I think that's fair enough. That's kind of like being from Scotland and talking about England. There's a big rivalry there, especially when it comes to sport and things. So that I can really relate to that. Tell me, what, what's the best win that Finland has ever had over Sweden in hockey. And tell me more about Finnish hockey. Who are the best players ever? Is there a good domestic hockey league? How are, what's Finland's biggest achievement in hockey internationally? No, you're not gonna get anything out of that one, okay? Uh, unless you have some good Swedish jokes, then you can make some friends. Now, if you do make those- Tell me any Swedish jokes as well. Friends, and you do go to their house, don't wear your shoes inside their house. It's very rude to wear your shoes inside houses here in Finland. So make sure you take those off when you come in. People might give you slippers or, or, or house shoes or stuff like that or not, but you just don't wear shoes in the house. Also, when you go to their house, don't forget to bring a small gift, maybe some candies or some flowers. We're going to my old host family tonight. I'm going to bring, you know, we got a bottle of wine and some chocolates. Just bring something when you come, you know, because it's just kind of a nice thing to do. Now, going along with that candy theme, um, there's another don't I have for you is don't eat the black salmiaki candy when you're here. It's like, ugh, it's like really salty black licorice candy. Oh, it's, they love it here. It's all over the place, but unless you're used to it, it can be a bit powerful for some people. So, so don't get the salmiaki or, or get one and try it. But, but don't buy a bag, okay? I've made that mistake before, okay? Buy the under candy. There's so many, other, so much other candy here that's good, but the, the salmiaki, blah, just, just stay away from it, okay? But you could get a bag of it and give it to your friend as a gift when you go to their house. That would be nice, but yeah. Foreigners aren't really big on the salmiaki. Tell me if you would be happy to receive salmiaki from one of your friends. <laughs> it's just, it's horrible. Horrible. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate when I am here because that's like questioning Finnish pride with the salmiaki. And that's another thing I will say with the Finnish pride, you know, salmiaki is one of those things, but also, you know, hockey, but also the relation with some of the countries around here, like Sweden and Russia and stuff. I know with uh, with my kids, we've had, you know, videos in Finland where my son's wearing his, his Zenith St. Petersburg soccer jersey. And they mentioned that. I'm like, he's six and you're, you're calling out his jersey because he was having fun in Finland with a Russian jersey. So you do have some of these little things there. So you do want to watch out for that. It's not a really a big deal but just kind of one of those little don'ts you might want to look into. Now, for my Saksalainen tourists and some of the other tourists who get upset when they don't get all their change back, you don't use the one or two cent coins here in Finland. You might have something that comes out to 98 cents. They're not going to give you your two cents back, okay? They round up the numbers and things like that, so there's no one or two, so don't get upset by that. Also, for certain Saksalainen tourists, um, I would say is don't steal the moose signs, okay? I remember there was a big thing when I used to live here, the, the tourists would come up here and they steal the moose signs. Don't do that. 
What is that moose sign? Was it that sign he's shown? Is that something that people actually do? Okay, it's not good, okay? So, so try to avoid doing that. So some other tourist things you might want to know about in terms of the don'ts is you don't have to tip when you are here in Finland. The wage is pretty good so that you don't really tip. Um, another don't I have for you is don't disobey the law when you are here. The Finns are very much a rule-based society and they, you know, they, they wait for the traffic sign to go across. They wait in the lines for their kind of stuff. So they really are kind of a kind of by the rules kind of people. And by breaking the rules and breaking the law, I mean, obviously you shouldn't do that anyway, is not really appreciated here. So don't do that. Kind of stick with the norms of the people you see here. My last little don'ts for you, just from little things. Um, don't forget your bug spray. If you're going to be going to the uh, into the lake district by Tampere and around there, I mean, there's Practical lakes everywhere, advice. but the bugs can be really bad in the summer. Also, don't skip out on the nature trips you can do here, whether you're going out to the islands or you're going into the lakes or just hiking and mushroom hunting, going around. Finns are really great outdoorsmen and stuff like that. So don't think you're just going to stay in Helsinki or Turku. Go out and explore. You'll really enjoy it. And I'll yeah, I think if I was going to go to Finland, that's definitely now after watching these videos and learning about Finland. As much as I would love to go to somewhere like Helsinki and just see, I, I like big cities. I've always lived in big cities. Uh, I like to visit them, but seeing Finland's nature in these forested areas, the lakes and things, I would actually like to now just go and stay in one of those cabins for like a couple of days, a week, just chill with some peacefulness, uh, away from everything. Uh, tell me like where you like to go, where's the best place to go and get some peace uh, in nature also, in Finland. Don't forget like a, a jacket or something, even in the summertime, we're here in June and we've gone from having jackets and jeans to shorts and t-shirts in the same day, okay? So just FYI for that. And I will say, don't skip coming to Finland. It is a fantastic place. Very few tourists come here, but they really should because you have this beautiful, beautiful country with lots of nature, saunas to go enjoy, people to meet, great English. It's not as expensive as people think it's going to be. I know when you think Scandinavia, or sorry, Nordic Europe, you're thinking, oh, it's gonna be insanely expensive. Sometimes it can be, but here in Finland, I've actually been okay with the price when we've been here, especially when you get out of Helsinki, because you're at a Tampere, a Turku, or up at Olu, or something like that. Rovaniemi to go to the Arctic Circle. The prices aren't that bad. I mean, it's a little bit higher, but it's nothing extravagantly crazy expensive. But don't let that keep you from coming here, because it is a fantastic place. I lived here for a year, and I loved it, and I know you'll love it too. So anyway, if you want to learn more about visiting Finland, we've got 10 things that will shock you about visiting Finland. Yeah, that, I mean, as I mentioned before, the more I watch these videos, the more it makes me actually want to go to Finland and spend some time there, not just in the cities and nature and just seems like such a great place, so much good, interesting things to do and see. Actually, I just found out that my sister-in-law actually spent time living there as well. So we were talking about that and she really enjoyed her time there as well. Uh, so yeah, tell me where you would recommend people to visit. It's not Helsinki or Turku. Uh, where would you recommend people go for something maybe a little bit different in Finland? Thanks.